Hi um, right, everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, hope everybody's having a good day and doing all right. Um, just out doing a bit of pest control again today. So yeah, this is going to be another pest control video. So if you don't like this sort of thing, then please don't watch. Because uh, obviously there will be, uh, hopefully pests being shot in this uh, video. So yeah, if you don't like this sort of thing, then uh, just switch off. But uh, if you do like pest control, then uh, welcome back to my channel. So I've just had to drive up to the top fields at the minute, just to have a quick look, because they have got crops in them. Uh, just pan around. I'm talking in the car because it's windy, so um, you might not be out to hear what I'm saying properly. So I'll show up. But yeah, I just uh, came up to the top fields, uh, where we normally do the uh, decoying, and they've still got wheat in, so hopefully they'll be harvesting the wheat soon, and if they do, we should be able to get on to decoy some pigeons, hopefully. Uh, you can shoot this field, but obviously you have to be careful where you're shooting, like on angle, so you're shooting towards the road. And there's another field uh, over there. That's got wheat in as well, so we'll have to keep our eye on this and wait for him to uh, get it harvested so we can uh, come over and hopefully get a few uh, wood pigeons with uh, on decoys. I could do with a swirly, to tell the truth, but uh, I haven't got one at the minute. But uh, yeah, if we set a few decoys out, hopefully we can get a few. But uh, wait and see. But uh, the field over the background over that way as well, where the rabbits are, I just drove past and it's absolutely full of cattle, so I um, won't be able to go there with the air rifle because they just come over and torture you. Uh, yeah, they all uh, like come over and be curious and that. And sometimes it looks like they're going to charge, so yeah, it won't be going in that field today. A few good pigeons flying about, like so. I can't see any laid spots in there, neither. Normally, if you've got a laid spot, they come in the laid spots, but uh, I don't really want to be shooting on crops that are still up just in case I damage them more than the pigeons will actually damage them by flattening them down and stuff. So uh, we'll wait till they get harvested, but I'll just show you this over here. Obviously, I haven't shot this, it looks like it's been run over or something. I did uh, down there, like so it looks like it's probably been run over or maybe it's attacked by someone, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, uh, nice animal. Like I said, I don't shoot hares. If you watch my videos, uh, I normally mention in them that I don't shoot hares or nothing like that. So, um, unless the farmer ever asks me to get any because they're getting out of um, hand, but apart from that, I, I won't shoot hares. But uh, yeah, a few pigeons flying about, I think you should run the shotgun down instead of the air rifle, but no man. So, yeah, we'll drive back down to the main farm where I normally shoot. And then uh, we'll get the air gun out and then. Um, Get set up. So, hey, right, right, everyone. Um, back at the main farm now. So, we're just going to have a walk around and see what we got. Uh, their rifle I'm using is a normal one I use uh, HW 99S177. Uh, Pellets uh, HN Field Target Trophy. Uh, yeah, it seems to like them. Groups them pretty good. So, yeah, we'll have a walk around and see if there's anything about. Uh, it's been raining on and off as well. So, if it starts raining, we we'll probably just take cover in some of the barns. See if we can get out in the barns or shooting out the gaps in the barns and wherever but yeah, let's get the gun set up and then um, get walking. Uh, pigeons keep on landing in these uh, oak trees just in front of me, so I'm just uh, sat in this little shelter for now. Uh, hopefully, something comes out when I put a uh, face veil on. Alright, everyone, uh, it's only about the pigeon being dark, but I'm sat like underneath the fuel tank above my head. Uh, the oak trees I've just showed you in front of us, um, pigeons seem to be landing in them at the minute, but uh, soon to see me, they're off, so I'm going to put a face veil on and uh, just sit here for about uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, see if it turns up. And he squirrels, squirrels sometimes come in these as well. But, uh, yeah, we've just got to have a wait about. But, um, I did shoot a pigeon out the oak tree earlier. Uh, it went down, I've tried to find it, and I can't find it, so I don't know if it's managed to make it into an edge fair from where I thought it went or whatever. But uh, yeah, definitely went down to see it go down. I'm going to try and find it. Uh, can't see it anywhere, so yeah, we're just going to sit here for a couple of uh, minutes. 
Let's see if it comes in the trees above us. Right, uh, still sort of on the minute. Uh, wind is starting to pick up now a bit as well, so I'll uh, sit here a bit longer, we'll see if it comes in. Uh, like I say, we'll get a few land in front of us, if not, we'll go in the barn and see if we get some ruts. Uh, if they in the barn earlier on, uh, there was no moving about in there or anything, but um, yeah, we'll give it a bit of a try later. But, uh, yeah, like I say, it'll keep me eye on them crops as well in the top field. Uh, once I get harvested, then uh, we'll think we put some uh, decoys on them. See if we can get out. Uh, hopefully, we might be able to try and buy a swirly. If I've got the money at the minute, but uh, we'll see. See if I can get a swirly on there. Uh, there's a lot of Dobby decoys on there. He was on there last year and uh, he was using a swirly. And he seemed to be doing alright with it, so uh, I'll see if I can find a cheap swirly for a sale somewhere. And if I can, we uh, might try and get one. Uh, we'll just sit here for a bit longer, see if what happens. Uh, it's gone down in there somewhere, uh, obviously there's a back there so I can't get over and get it. So another one down but I can't get My man. Uh, another one uh, down there but obviously it's gone over inside the back so I uh, can't get across the back to try and find and retrieve it. So uh, yeah, shame like, but never mind, just wake up sometimes. Uh, I might set a few targets up and have a few shots because uh, it has quietened down on the farm a little bit. But it hasn't been much heat to start with. Uh, I've only seen one rat running about and that's it. You only seen that once, normally the uh, rats are running about, but he said there's been lads in last night shooting them in the dark. Obviously they've got all the thermal gear and that's uh, shooting them there, got 20, but they said they were all just baby ones. So, yeah, uh, um, yeah, set a few little targets up and we'll have a practice at them. And uh, probably have another quick walk around the farm, just see if what else has turned up and then uh, I think I might call it a day. But, uh, I'll next few hours out walking, but like, so I'll get some uh, targets set up and we'll have a quick go at them. Now you're going to be shooting over near the tractor about uh, 20 yards. Right, uh, three out of four shots, so obviously the second one I missed was just me, uh, trying to pull the trigger too fast. Uh, yeah, like I said, real lacquery of guns, in one two minutes. Yeah, for what it is, like I say, absolutely real lacquery, as long as you can do your part at that end, keep it steady. Uh, really good uh, guns to shoot. But, uh, yeah, like I say, really pleased with it, just uh, practice the 177, I think that's uh, why some stuff's not dropping, like I've said in other videos, but... No mad, I uh, love another quick walk around the yard and we'll see if it's out else. Um, just going to sit down here for a bit in the shed. Uh, just underneath a little uh, tree here. A little ash tree. And, uh, I think it's ash. No, it's a little concrete tree, sorry. And, uh, the oaks are just there, like the other side of the oaks where we were. And I was underneath the um, diesel tank. So I'm just on the other side because sometimes the birds landed in these trees as well. And obviously I can't see them when I'm on the other side. So uh, just going to sit here for a couple of minutes before. Uh, Call it a day, and uh, we'll see if anything lands in these trees. Hopefully, it might. Uh, yeah, just sit here for a bit and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, everyone. Uh, go and call it a day. Uh, like I said, I was uh, totally quieting down now. Uh, we sat under that edge for a bit, but uh, nothing came out. So, uh, nothing landed in the trees. But yeah, like I said, these guns absolutely brilliant. If you're new to my channel, because I'm starting to get a lot of subs, uh, quite a few subscribers now. So, if you do, HW 99S uh, 177. Uh, I only recommend this gun for a cheap budget uh, pest control or target gun but uh, I would recommend if you are doing pest control get it in 2-2 which is uh, where I should have got it in but uh, yeah, I'll probably upgrade this to a 2-2 I think uh, once I get some money I might get a 
another one of these, I do love these guns, so I might just get another one, but uh, two, two, for the hunting and stuff. And as you can see on the stones that I shot earlier on, accuracy on them is absolutely unbelievable. And it is a bit windy as well, as you can see, and I've been walking on the farm. Obviously down here it's a little bit sheltered, but uh, still windy, but uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant guns. Yeah, I'm just showing this again, I know I show it in some of my videos, but uh, just in case there's any more subscribers come along and they're uh, interested in what the gun is. But yeah, absolutely brilliant. Um, mount on top is so I can put a camera on top when I'm filming but uh, it is a bit clumsy I've said no video video I've got a camera that goes on the back but it sticks out so I think I'm just going to save up and get a proper scope with all the camera inside it and just do it that way because it's going to be easier than trying to connect the camera because when I put the camera on the back it comes to about there so it doesn't really do it unless I get a smaller scope but uh, yeah I just think I might just save up and invest in a better scope with a camera built in in the future but uh, yeah we'll see so they're talking about all this stuff, but it's having the money to get it, but no man. And uh, yeah, the bag I use, like the uh, newbies, just a British Army gas mask uh, bag. Just got it cheap off um, of an army surplus shop. I think he only paid about five quid for that, so just a little small game bag for when I'm air rifle shooting. And uh, just in there, I carry obviously the tripod that my camera's on now, just a little mini tripod in there. And uh, obviously game if I shoot anything, I put it in there. And then I just carry a little more relate like my fire. So then obviously if I shoot out or anything, I can skin it on the spot like uh, rabbits and squirrels. So I don't like taking them on because they're normally covered in fleas. So yeah, that's just a quick skin knife, uh, really sharp. And then obviously if you need to light a fire or out, if you want to cool quick shoot on the spot, it's got a... That's got a fire striker in here somewhere. Come on. There you go, yeah, a little fire striker in there. So yeah, if you need it to get a fire going out, just cook something that you've shot, you could. So yeah, not too bad. But, uh, like I said, we didn't shoot much today, there. there's not much about. Should have had two pigeons, but uh, one did drop out the tree and I've searched all over that one, I couldn't find it. And then the other one just went in the bushes over there behind us. Yeah, I'll see. But it looks like it's going over the other side of the back, so there's no way I'd be able to retrieve that one. But, uh, yeah, like I said, that's just uh, the stuff I use and whatever. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and get some more permissions as well, because this is the only main per permission I've got at the minute. So yeah, I'm going to go knock on a few doors. Yeah, I've got another permission near where I live. But he sold a lot of his land, because obviously farmers now are selling the land off for uh, people to build on it or put stuff in. But uh, all his fields got covered in solar panels, so it's not that good shooting on anymore on now. So yeah, definitely going to get around a few farms as I'm travelling about. And uh, give them a few knocks if I can get it anyway. But um, yeah, like so, hope you've enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching. Oh, another thing as well, thank you to all my subscribers that are uh, clicking on my channel and subscribing. Uh, absolutely, really appreciate it. Uh, my subscribers are really starting to go up now. So thank you so much for all the subscribers that I'm getting. And the uh, people who just watch the channel who don't subscribe, uh, thank you for watching. But uh, if you do watch, if you could subscribe, it would help me, really help me uh, channel grow. And uh, yeah, I really, really appreciate the subscribers that I'm getting at the minute. So thank you so much. And um, I hope you all have a good day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.